All right, what is going on, guys? Uh, you know, I've been sitting around the house through quarantine, and well, I got bored, and I ended up ceramic coating my car. If you remember back in probably June of last year, I made a video buying products from Wish just for the fun of it to see how good of quality they were. And while most of them were pretty good, the ceramic coat, um, I applied it, thought I applied it the right way, but I applied it, and then like a week or so later, it just, it just came off. Like, it just wore off, it seemed like. So I was like, oh, okay, like, that's expected. It was like three bucks. It doesn't really matter. Well, I got bored enough to the point where I was gonna wax my car, but my uh, orbital buffer tool, the foam pad flew off because it's kind of old. And uh, I thought, well, can't really, w I don't want to wax the whole car by hand now. And then I remember I still had some of those ceramic coats. So I read the instructions again, and this time, I realized I did it the wrong way the first time. So you had to apply it on cross-directional, right? I did that. What I didn't know, I thought that was it. I thought you just left it. But you had to rub it with like, well, no, I actually buffed it out, which probably took all of the product away. But you had to rub it with a wet microfiber and then buff it with the dry microfiber. And I guess that gets the uh, the reaction going. Yeah, I really didn't recognize that. And I didn't, the, the English on the instructions are a little, broken you can say so it didn't really occur to me like that's what they meant because they just said the moisture they didn't say with the wet whatever so it took me the second time to redo it so i didn't film it because i just wanted to do it quick and uh i was like this has a 50 50 chance of working and whatnot well it's been two weeks and in those two weeks i've only rinsed it i've driven it in the rain and i've only driven it to and from work so I haven't put any soap or anything on the car. All right, so it's been about, um, I don't know, maybe a week, maybe a little bit over a week. And I haven't washed or rinsed the car off at all. Cause every time I drive, the dust pretty much flies off. But here's the hood that's waxed. And then here's like a side that's ceramic coated. Or here's the roof, I should say. I haven't really needed to rinse it off wash it but uh, I'm gonna do that today to see how it uh, affects it so let's do that all right so here's a waxed hood right beads off pretty well just like it should but here's a ceramic coated side it literally just falls off that's wild now we'll just pull it in and you know do it with Dan said you don't have to dry ceramic coat because you won't get water spots but I'm going just to see yep I'm that guy So, ate dinner, let it dry even though I like blew it off. Doesn't look like there's any little water spots in the wax area. I mean, there's some. There also weren't any in the uh, ceramic coat. You can see how shiny it is. It's very, very shiny. It's not as smooth feeling as it was before I washed it. There was like a little spot I forgot to dry off and now it's hard and can't really buff it out. So I just gotta wait for it to wear out because I'm sure this stuff will wear out. I'll keep y'all updated, but I'm surprised it worked as well as it did. But I just can't get over how like shiny this is. It's like a mirror. I didn't do the, the back or the front bumper because I wanted those as controls to see what difference it would make. But man, did me doing it the right way make a difference? Like the sides are like mirrors now. It's just like shiny. And it does give it a little bit more depth in the black paint as well. Uh, actually, let's, let's pull it up. The only 
only parts I ended up waxing was the hood. And like I said, I didn't do the front bumper, um, but the last time I drove this, it was raining and I just left it in the garage to dry to see if we could get any water spots. The, uh, the ceramic coating, do with Dan, promoted, whatever, I don't know. The one that went around YouTube, you can let it dry and there won't be any water spots, like hard water spots. So, so let's test that. So I just got out and there is dirt everywhere. Now I bet this would just beat off, run off if I just spray with the hose. But it also wipe off, but also look at that. Uh, it's just like a mirror now, hang on. You know, it's, it's very shiny. Here, I'll grab the bottle I got. Cause I know there are a couple different ones on Wish, but it's this stuff, Mr. Fix 9H. Purple glass bottle. This bottle's actually pretty strong. I dropped it from like here by accident and it didn't shatter. Like this side really pops. Like this side's a lot cleaner than the other side. You can see my reflection. And you know, I have some spots that I didn't, you know, do right. Like even like right here, like there's some spots that I didn't buff out enough and then it cured and then I couldn't do anything about it. But like the back trunk area, like the trunk lid, would always get really, really dusty driving around. Like if I drove in the rain and then it dried up the next day, this would all just be dirt spots. Now it doesn't do that, so let's spray it off real quick. I don't think the dirt needs any wiping. So you got your dirt. Like it just falls off, you know, versus that. You can tell where it is and isn't coated. So, we'll do the other side. And this is all stuff from like hitting... What? From uh, hitting potholes and... Um, I don't know, just, just driving around in the rain. What do you see? Not coated. Coated. So the stuff actually does make a difference. How long it'll make a difference? <laughs> I don't know. So we'll grab a microfiber. Oh, I also use the uh, the leaf blower to dry it off and that, that sucker makes it go off. But we'll do uh, this side just to see. All right, these microfibers suck. Let's get the leaf blower. Now I'm, I'm gonna say it. My neighbors probably hate me and think I'm crazy, but that's okay, because I don't care. Yeah, so this is before, you know, wiping it down. And so none of that uh, mud or dirt stuck to it. It all rinsed off with the uh, with the hose. Like that was enough just to get rid of it. Like here, here's like a trouble spot. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of like oily looking, like right. Like that's a mirror, straight up. For three dollars, you know, I would buy this. The only downside I have found to this whole endeavor is that with the kit, you only get two of these like white cloths, which is enough for like a car, two cars, you know, if you do it all in one day. Now I did one side at night. I don't know what I did. I did it over two days, right? I let it dry overnight and this thing gets crusty. That's its shape now, is the shape of it. So I don't want to use this again because I feel like that'd be bad. I want to use like a soft, flexible side. So that's just something to keep in mind. Like if you're gonna do it, do it all in one day. It's in the shade and it's just reflecting so much. You know, like $3, that's the crazy part. Plan on doing other vehicles. So we'll see, we'll get a wide variety because I'm like the only one in my family who washes my car regularly. Everybody else just like waits for it to rain to wash it. The rain is the wash. That's that for this video. I'm gonna go buy some more. I wasn't paid to say this. I'm gonna make a video when I applied it because I thought it was not gonna work. So stay tuned for more updates on stuff like this. I'm gonna be rewrapping my wheels. So go to my Instagram, recommend a color, and uh, then we'll start voting once I get recommendations for colors. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, 
I thought I was recording. I swear I pressed record. But I was trying to get a thumbnail, a stupid thumbnail. And I have this bottle in this box, right? And the bottle fell out from this height, you know, probably three, four feet on a straight concrete and it didn't break. Like there's no cracks or anything. I think there's just like scuffing. I don't know what this bottle is, but man, it is magic. Okay, it is leaking out of the lid. The lid broke, the lid, the plastic lid, not the glass bottle, the lid. All right, y'all stay safe.